Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with me, Philip Karahassan, for Therapy in London. Today I want to talk about lying, and in fact, why we lie and how we can stop lying. So many of us lie on a daily basis. We don't even realise we're doing it, but we do. And why is that? Why do we feel compelled to lie? Maybe we rationalise it, we say, oh, we only tell a little white lie, so that person doesn't get upset. Or maybe we use poetic license to make an event seem even more glorious than it already was. What's wrong with the way it went down? What's wrong with telling the truth? Why do we need to lie? Why do we need to stretch the truth? And the reason is, and lying comes down to one pivotal fact, tension. Something I've discussed in other videos as well. Tension is, ex is exerted onto us all the time. We don't want people to feel upset, so we'll just lie. We don't want to tell people that we'd rather go home than go out, so we'll just lie and say we've got something else planned. It's about dispelling that tension because we live our lives fearful of that tension being exhibited. So we lie and we dispel it. But what happens when those lies catch up with you? What happens when someone realizes that you did lie? It goes against our character. How will anyone ever believe you again if you keep on lying? It might seem inconsequential now, but how many lies do you need to manage? How many times have you lied to this person saying this and that person saying that? It's almost a story that you've got to keep in your head. You've got to keep check on it because God forbid you get found out and then all that tension that you've been deferring gets put back on you. So that's all well and good, but it's become such a part of so many of our lives that we don't even realize we're lying. So how are we ever gonna stop? Well, this is where I like to bring in my list. The first thing we need to do is to find out when we're lying, because if we can find out when, we can start to dissect it. So step number one, let's think back to the last lie that you made. Maybe it was to a partner, maybe to a friend, and think back to that lie and think, what was it? And most importantly, why did you do it? So we've got this lie that you said to someone and we've got an inkling of why we may have lied. Let's go to step two. I want you to forget all about that lie. I want you to forget about the motive behind it. And in the coming days, step two will, I'm sure, present itself. You get to a situation which may be a bit sticky. You may not want to do something. You may have done something wrong. So normally you lie. But when that happens, before you lie, think, what am I running from? What is the tension doing to me to make me need to lie in this situation? Because when you learn that, then you can think, is it so bad just to tell the truth? What would I rather be doing? And why do I need to tell them a lie? Is it for the same reason you lied in step one? If you keep on repeating step two, every time you're gonna lie, you think, oh, how does this relate to step one? How does this relate to that lie I told a while ago? Is it for the same reason? Is it a different one? I'd argue it's most likely for the same reason. Once we bring this to our conscious mind, we realize, actually, I don't need to lie. Actually, this isn't really helping me. It's helping me in the short term, but it's weighing me down every day. I have to keep up with the lie. I have to keep up with this way of being, which isn't congruent to you being happy. So you've dissected a couple of lies now. You sort of know why you're doing it. Next time you're in a similar situation, I want you to not lie. And that's easier said than done, right? Because we're so used to lying, we're so used to exhibiting that behavior, it's gonna be hard to stop. But if you do try and stop, maybe try telling the truth. Maybe say, look, I don't wanna go out today. I'd rather do this. You know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's being confident in your own happiness. It's being confident in your own point of view. Maybe do that exercise. What have you lied about? Why am I doing it? And what happens if I was gonna stop? How would I feel? Maybe give it a go. My name is Philip Karahassan. All the best and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.